Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ. Um, we are still on the spiritual battle series. We are looking at James chapter 4 from verse 6 through 10, and it's the weapon of humility uh, that we're uh, studying. It says, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Amen. So um, I never thought of humility as a weapon until actually today, uh, as I was thinking about what to study, the thought came to me that humility is actually a weapon. It's a powerful spiritual weapon because it says God gives grace unto the humble. God, the scripture talks about that God draws close to the humble. And you can see that people who are very anointed, who you see some preachers, the ones that are really, really humble, they have a humble, humble spirit there. You know that it is the Lord's spirit in them that's causing them to have revelation because they're not educated. Um, but they have such insight, such revelation, the presence of the Lord with them, and they're very humble. And so that is a powerful spiritual weapon, humility. Um, and this scripture uh, says so in a, in, a, in a way that I never thought of before until actually today when it came to mind. And notice it said here, God resisteth the proud. And there's another scripture, I think it's in Proverbs, it talks about that God views the proud from afar. So if you're in, if you're, if you have a lot of pride in your heart, um, and how you can tell that is if you hate to be corrected, no one can tell you anything. You're not teachable. You don't have a spirit that's, um, uh, that can be, uh, how do I say it? Can be instructed by anyone. It has to be your idea and you have to look good. So that's all of that. That's a, that's pride. And if you're, if you have that type of presence in your heart, it says that the Lord is viewing you from afar. So you want to humble your heart, submit yourself to God. It says that's humility. Humility is when you're submitted to, to God, to who God is, his nature, his character, his attitude. So there's an attitude in how you deal with people. It's not that, uh, and then notice it says you resist the devil and he will flee from you. When you're in pride, you're submitting yourself to the devil <laughs> as opposed to God. When you resist the devil, you're submitting yourself to God and you're humbling yourself. So that's the difference. And it's a powerful weapon because in humbling yourself before God and resisting pride, resisting the devil who is full of pride, it says he will flee from you. And I guarantee you when he flees from you, he'll take all of his little minions with him and all of the chaos and mayhem that they bring. It says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Um, cleanse your heart, hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, ye double-minded. So, um, you know, we see with pride comes a lot of things, a lot of spiritual confusion, spiritual problems, um, and just, I think, defeat, spiritual defeat. In verse 10, it says what? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. And so that is a weapon in the spiritual world that is incredibly powerful. The Bible as well talks about that Jesus said that he is meek and lowly. Jesus was a meek person. It doesn't mean that he was not a strong man. There's strength in meekness. And it does not mean that Jesus did not have feelings. He had a passion for God. 
and showed it in a deep, deep, felt deeply. But he was humble and God is humble. God is meek. He's humble. There is no pride in God at all. None. He is humble. He's with the humble. And so that is a spiritual weapon that we have as Christians. And um, I know that in in society in our society um you can be tempted to feel well i don't want anyone to run all over me well that's not what this is talking about you being meek does not mean you don't have boundary lines and being being meek is not codependency on the approval of others you know being meek is having a sober estimate of yourself and it's having a submissive attitude toward your creator God. If God says jump, how high? <laughs> you know, so um, having the spiritual weapon of humility is a good one to study out with how um, you can use that weapon in your current circumstances because sometimes the problems of what we have come about because of our pride. Maybe lack of forgiveness, being easily offended, um, maybe having um, c conflicts and confusion. It's due to uh, pride and uh, not uh, wanting um, other people to come across as better or whatever. Don't, don't focus on other people. <laughs> That's if they think whatever they think is what they think you know who you are to god and how much you mean to god because he sent jesus and he called you and you're a part of his family so you know you you have a value and you know that god has a plan and purpose for your life and so if you're finding yourself uh you know tied to your ego or facing uh challenges and the solution can be this spiritual weapon which is just to humble yourself go ahead and do that it says the devil will flee from you once you do that so you would have won that battle if you submit yourself to god another good scripture to study out about this same thing resisting the devil humbling yourself is luke 4 where jesus after he was um, fasting for 40 days, the enemy came and tempted him. And Jesus resisted the devil and submitted himself to what God said. He quoted the scriptures honestly and correctly, and the devil had to flee. So those are my insights for this. I don't know what you think about it, uh, or if you've ever thought about um, humility as a weapon. Um, but it occurred to me today as I was thinking about what to share today, and I feel like the Lord was is, sh is showing that humility is a very powerful weapon that we have at, at, on our disp at our disposal as Christians. Um, I hope that gives you food for thought, beloved. I hope you're having a great day. God loves you so much. Take care. Bye.